Hey, welcome back to the Moose Shop. I'm just checking out this new tenderizing mallet I just made. If you're interested in it, follow me on over to the shop and I'll show you how it's done. Hey, what are you doing in here? Snapping? Okay, you look like you're all ready to go with the old pencil in the, your ear. Huh? You ready to get fired up for today? Ready to give me a hand? Atta baby. Hey, wait, wait, where are you going? So I set the blade at 22 and a half, and then I took my block here that, and marked all four sides so I would know that I'm going to cut all four sides, spacing them at a half inch apiece, and making sure that I get all of them cut will end up being pyramids for the tenderizing size of the mallet. The problem ended up being that this oak is too brittle and some of the tips were falling off. So. I decided to switch to some hard maple and use that as the face for both the tenderizing side and the blunt side. I decided to throw in these splines here just because I'm gluing end grain and this mallet is going to be used you know to, to crush stuff and pound things and it's just so a little bit more confident in, in holding together for quite a long time and actually it kind of looks kind of cool.
All right, so now to finish the handle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this off center, about 5 16 on each side, and I'm alternating the sides. And what that's going to end up doing is giving me a, an oval shape that is shaped like a hammer handle. All right, so now that I'm happy with the shape of it, I'm going to bring it back to the centers and I'm going to knock down the, the edge here. And then I'll fix the tenant for where the mallet goes in, line that up and make it nice and snug. And then um, I'll fix the butt end too and do a little sanding. Well, there you go, the meat tenderizing mallet, made out of all scrap wood, had to alter the plans just a little bit because of the, the oak here was a little bit brittle for the face, so I used uh, maple, and then which turned out really nice, and I've actually used it and, it, and it works pretty good. So, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon. Bye.